timbers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays! This is your host, the Pixel Pirate, bringing you first impressions on the latest indie games. Today, we are taking a look at a game called Brett Airborne. Brett Airborne is developed by Machine22, and you can currently pick it up on many places, including Gamersgate, Desura, and their website, as well as the Mac Game Store, for around $10.00. As I mentioned, it is on Mac and on Windows, so you are all covered, except Linux. You all suck. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you guys. It's also on Greenlight, so if you like what you see, then you can go and vote for it. And finally, it has a demo, so you can go and check it out for yourself. Alright, let's get into it. Now, it has a whole bunch of game options, or game types, I should say. you got the campaign, then you got Gauntlet... Duel versus uh, the AI, two local players, and Tower Challenge. So lots of stuff to uh, wrap your little eyes around. Okay, so just a bit of dialogue here. It's all very boring. Never mind. All right. So this is the world map. Now you have the avail. You um, have the ability, I should say, to move, and then the the enemy AI has the ability to move. So I'm going to move over here. And then the AI will move. And surprisingly, that guy didn't move. All right, let's go here. Oh, we got some money. Like me some money. All right, let's attack this guy. Now, the whole premise of this game is that it's a match three. It's a match three with a twist. And it makes it interesting enough that I am making a video on it. Now, I love match three anyway. And this kind of puts a good twist on it. It it's, it flows easily and yeah, I kind of like it. So basically, you ha you have the, the standard match three and it is divided in half by this yellow line. Um, of course, I match three or more things in a row and I gain certain things. So if I match three bombs, for example, that'll do damage to his little airship over on the right here. Uh, whereas if he does that to me, uh, that'll also happen. And uh, chests, I think, give you gold. These uh, different colored gems, they do give you uh, these meters here. And that gives you stuff in turn. Now, you also get skills. So I've got Firestorm, for example, here, which deals five points of damage. And to use that, I need six of the red gems here in order to uh, charge that up and use it. So that deals uh, 8 points of damage um, and ends my turn. Alright, so now th you might be asking what is this yellow line? Well, aside from uh, dividing up the play area from you and your opponent, you can actually move that across and so can he. So uh, in particular, if uh, what's interesting is I can actually match on his side. So, for example, as you can see this, uh, this green one here, and then I've got a green one here, two green ones here on my side, I can actually do that. And that's bad for him. He didn't do much this time, but yeah. One problem I have with the game is sometimes you get to go several times, and it's slightly arbitrary. Uh, if you match four, for example, you're allowed to go again. Um... And there's other times where I've just been allowed to go again, and I don't really understand why. I'm sure with uh, gameplay you'll get to know it. So as you can see, the yellow yellow bar did move across one. And if you actually manage to get it all the way across, then the person dies automatically. Now one shortcoming of the game is that you can start getting sort of combos going, and once you get a a waterfall if you like of combos started where things just start plopping down and automatically making matches that that can be somewhat unfair occasionally uh, I have encountered that once so far and it was not a fun experience I didn't die I didn't uh, get beaten automatically but it feels like you're kind of very powerless to stop it at all with any kind of skill so it's a lot of luck involved in the game, I feel. So we're just uh, carrying on here now. How many, how many have I got? I've got six of the, uh, sorry, ten of the uh, red ones. So I can actually use a firestorm if I so desire. And I do. So each person has a health meter. We are evenly matched at this point in time. 
Um, and also it gives you a rundown of the powers and augmentations that you have. There, I've only got one at the moment, which is the Firestorm. Okay, um... Now, I've forgotten exactly how, but you get these times two things. I think it's if you match four of that type. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, that was very lucky. All right, I'm going to match four there. And I'm going to do it again, in fact. Very good. And I get extra bits and pieces there, which is excellent. Alright, so I'm doing pretty good actually, uh, so far. Now, you get these other things. You gain maneuver points by matching four blocks or more. Of course, that makes the yellow bar move across. And finally, gain piracy points by matching blocks on the other player's side, which I did earlier. Uh, and I, I'm, I am actively trying to actually uh, do that, but it doesn't seem like there's a great deal that I can, unfortunately. There is a four here. Now, one thing I did want to show you, and I, actually I'll do it after I do this, and there's another four for me. So as you can see, I'm not doing anything right now, and he is all the way over there, and that's bad for him. Um, actually, I'll have to show you after his turn. Okay, so... You don't have to, when you move things, you don't have to have a match. So, for example, uh, I could move this here, and that does nothing for me, except I can get things in place. So now I have four bombs in a row. So there you go. I've set that up for myself. So I actually like that. It adds a little bit of strategy to the game, which is fantastic, I feel. And off we go. There you go. All right. Uh, so it wasn't too bad, I guess. Uh, now, having said the thing I said said with the waterfall cascading effect of, of the items and stuff, I, I haven't lost a game or won a game just doing that. So I guess having said that, it's not inherently unfair, but it sort of, sort of makes you feel a bit powerless or makes the game feel a little bit too easy. So he's just using powers on me now. He's using burglary and he's getting minus uh, three on my blue go uh, blue sort of gems here. And he keeps stealing them. Nick off, dude. <laughs> Seriously. He can just keep using those until he runs out of red because he needs one, one and one of each. Um, so there you go. And I'm just going to explode him. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. So let's return to the map. Alright, so there you go. That's basically the long and short of Brett Airborne. The graphics are, well, I'd say probably mediocre. They're, they're okay. They do the job, but I think uh, could have looked a bit better, if I'm honest. But um, the gameplay, I feel, uh, pretty much carries the game. And that's, you know, only a good thing. <laughs> um, I, If you like Match 3 games, then this adds a... A, a good layer onto that style of game. If you don't like match three, you're probably not going to like this game. It's going to get pretty old pretty quick. So there you go. As I said, you can pick it up on their website on Desura or on Gamersgate as well as the Mac Store for around 10 bucks. This has been your host, the Pixel Pirate. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next time.